Well, I've already outlined the defendant's criminal history, but um, for the purposes and principles of sentencing, under 29, 29, 11, 12, and 13, I want to note for the record the defendant has an extensive criminal history, uh, and he was just recently released from prison um, as of, looks like, last year, or within the last year and a half. When did you get out of prison? 2019 or 2020? 2020. Okay. In March. So released on uh, the failing to comply with the order or signal of a police officer, released on the drug cases, and then ultimately the defendant has had criminal history uh, from the time that he was a juvenile. Uh, he spent uh, many years in different juvenile institutions and has essentially been incarcerated for most of uh, this time. So. Have you ever been given a term of probation, Mr. Shepard? No. no. Also, I want to note for the record that I did consider the defendant's um, competency report and his mental health history. Uh, I did review your sentencing memorandum, Ms. Carcutt. I want to note for the record that the defendant has multiple diagnoses which brought him to the mental health docket, uh, but the most significant of those diagnoses is regarding a personality disorder for which he has. The defendant um, has multiple uh, different uh, diagnosed disorders uh, that are very troubling to the court and I'm going to incorporate those records into my sentencing memorandum or my sentencing entry. So those will become court exhibits uh, for future review. To begin with, um, in watching and observing this trial, I was very sad for the state of our city. To know that Lonnie Burton Park, a place where there were children playing, a 12 year old walking through the park, knowing that he was shot through mistaken identity um, under the circumstances here was horrifying. Watching the gun come out and shoot the, this child on the, on the, in the parkway was unbelievable. Our city is a disaster when it comes to gun violence, and there has to be something so dramatic that happens to stop it. People don't even want to walk on the east side of Cleveland. It's frightening. But also the retribution of families killing other families is horrible. Not cooperating with the police, not solving anything. It's just going to lead back to this courtroom and all the courtrooms here in this building over and over again until it stops with people's families. It's a tragedy that we are here today. The court having considered all of the required factors under 29, 29, 11, 12, and 13, at this time sentences a defendant to three years on the underlying gun specification and 30 years life with the possibility of parole in 30 years on the aggravated murder for a total of life with the possibility of parole in 33 years. I'm going to note that the state elects on count one and the three-year firearm specification. All the other counts merge into count one. I am going to give you credit for 384 days for which you've served. You have 30 days in which to perfect an appeal on this case. I am going to appoint Attorney Pagano as your appellate counsel, and I am going to order a transcript at state expense. I am going to, at this time, order that you be remanded and transported. I am going to waive your fine. However, I am going to uh, impose court costs in this case. With that being said, if there's anything to be adjusted as it relates to indigency, Mr. Pagano, you can file that with the court. You are ordered, remanded, and transported at this time.